Hey, this is Dean the God. Today I'll be showing you how to put the homebrew channel on your Wii. You will need, of course, a Wii, a Sandus card, preferably 2 gig, and you don't necessarily have to own it, but you do have to have Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And once again, Twilight Princess. You will need a computer with internet access and a computer with a SanDisk reader. It allows you to read SanDisk cards or a SanDisk reader writer for computers that don't have that built in. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Okay, now you need to go to Wii Options, go to Data Management, go to Save Data, go to Wii. Okay, you're going to need to copy the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, you save to Sandus card. Um, you don't even have to play it for more than a second. It's not like you have to be any, uh, beat the game or anything. You just have to have the save on your Wii. Make sure you have it saved. Then you copy to Sandus card, which I accidentally forgot to put in. Um, yes. Well, anyway, make sure it's copied there. Um, I took off all my stuff before I put it on for more space. Uh, I suggest you do the same. Okay. Now I need you to go to Wii Settings. And I need you to check what your version of Wii is. Mine is a 3.4U. If you have a 3.4U, I can help you. If you have a 3.3U, I can help you. Anything other than that, you will need a mod chip or... As far as I know, I can't help you. I won't be showing you how to do a mod chip, but... I'm sure you can find a video somewhere else that can, seeing how I don't have one of those at the moment. Okay, this is where you'll need to get on a computer, okay? Um, of course, I'm using my Wii Internet because it's a lot faster and I can help you quicker. But you will need the Wii Internet or else you're out of luck. Or you will need a actual Internet. Actual Internet, like from a computer. Not Wii Internet. Slip of the tongue, sorry. Okay. You can go to Google, Yahoo, MSN, whatever your search browser is. Go to, uh, oops, home, brew, channel. Go to the first one. It should look like this. Then go to Downloads. Then go to Twilight Hack. Remember I was talking about the 3.4U, your Wii system model? Well, if it's a 3.3, click this one right here. If it's a 3.4U, you're going to want to click this buddy right here, Twilight Hack. Okay. Okay. Now that we have our Twilight Hack right here, we're going to open it. I have WinRAR, so, yeah. Okay, we're going to extract, oh wait, whoops, X. We're going to go to Private, and press Extract to New Folder. Okay. See? or uh, to our SanDisk card, I mean, new folder. Um, we're going to be extracting to our SanDisk card. We're going to go to Private, Wii, Title. Now, there's RZDE, uh, which is the one you want to click, because we're not Japanese or European. We're going to go to the RZDE, and we're going to see Data Bin. That's exactly what you want to see. Now, we're going to go back, back, and back. Okay, now that this is on our Sandus card, we're going to take it out of, the uh, out of the computer. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the Wii. We're going to put the Sandus card back in our Wii.
Okay. Now. Okay. We are right once in order. There it is. We go over here. Go over that. Send this card. Okay, see, we should have the USA Twilight Hack, the Japanese, and the European. You don't want to use either of these, okay? Neither. Now, you're going to want to go to. You're, you're going to want to use the USA in a bit. Now, you're going to want to go to your Wii saves on your Wii, not your fan discard. You're, wanna got, you're going to want to get rid of your. Um, of your Zelda thing, make sure you have it saved. Or if you don't care about it, just erase it. Okay, now that your Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess has successfully been deleted from your Wii system, and yes, it has to be deleted, and your Twilight hack is on your Sandus card, go to your Wii, check your Sandus card, uh, it should say USA. Use the USA version if you're in the USA, which of course you are if you're watching this. Uh, you don't want to use either of these, it won't work if you're in the USA. Go to copy, copy your Wii system memory, press yes. Data has been copied. Press back, 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 back. Now you're going to want to insert your Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess game inside. Right there. And then once you have it all loaded up, press that. Go to start. Now, I uh, forgot to mention this, but uh, on the bottom of your disc, there should be a little writing on the inner circle that says, uh, it has a zero or a two on it. I'll have to show you that a little bit later, but don't worry. Most discs have the zero, and if that doesn't work, you obviously have the two. But most people have the zero, so try that first. Then go to start. Go to press A. Now, you can see some weird things, seeing how you just started the game. You already have the sword, but don't worry about that. You're not going to use it long enough to keep it. Talk to this guy right here. And then all this stuff pops up. Don't worry about it, it's normal. This pops up, it's just a disclaimer saying, uh, blah blah blah, we're not responsible, uh, you should not buy this, you should be able to get it for free on the homebrew browser, of course. And press 1 to continue. Now, it says, uh, Throughout this installer, you may accept blah 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 by pressing 1. Just keep pressing accept. The little green button, press 1 on your Wii remote. Just keep pressing it. I accept, I accept, iOS 36 homebrew channel. Starting installation, this is what should be happening. Installation complete. Exit to... Uh, press 1 more, 1 more time. And it restarts your Wii for you. Voila, there, ta-da, there, there's your homebrew channel. Now, in my next video, I will be showing you how to get apps on there and all sorts of crud. Especially, see this little puppy right here, this will be in another video, it's called a WAD Manager, which will allow you to get free virtual console games. This is my personal favorite. You can even get the internet channel for free if you don't have it. Uh, I'll have links on the side, not on this video, but the next with the uh, WAD manager when I have it to tell you how to get that. All the links for this stuff will be on the side of my video. Enjoy. But when you first get the homebrew channel, do not be surprised that it'll be blank. I'll tell you how to get the apps in a minute. Watch my next video. And if you liked, subscribe. Bye-bye.